Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, blah blah blah. Welcome to episode 17 of Let's Play Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga with Mr. Crazy Gamer 13. In this episode, we're going to do uh, chapter 3, episode 5 The Empire Strikes Back, chapter 3 Falcon Flight. So, yeah. Still recording this and saying that I'm recording episode 16, so I've still got a bit of a loss of enthusiasm after my hiatus from this game, but I'll try, I might try to brighten things up if I couldn't be bothered, eh? Just didn't have very much good luck in the last episode, and kind of hoping for better luck in this one, even though I doubt I'll get it. Ah! So basically what you have to do at the start of this level is destroy all cannons, and my controller's been a douche again. Because it's still charging. Even though it's connected properly. It, it just it disconnects when it feel like, feels like it, 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 it's absolute bull, bull crap. BS. I'm not going to say that BS would actually. Yeah. Alright. So that's the easy part done. Now for the rest of this very short level in an asteroid field. Basically what we're going to do here... We want to uh, get some top heroes. And this game just doesn't want me to win at all, does it? God! Gonna want a few top pedos here. Yeah, um Heh. <laughs> this has four required and we need to go back for one because we can only carry a maximum of three. Oh come on! Yeah, with all these TIE... None of these TIE Fighters are helping. Like, come on, seriously? Can't they just go screw themselves? Alright, here we are. Next section. Same thing again. More torpedoes. Destroying things. More explosions. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, torpedo, torpedo, torpedo! Oh, come on! Never mind. See what I mean? This level is brutal. It's absolutely horrible. Well, it's not horrible, it's just frustrating. There's one level in the Empire Strikes Back that's worse than this, and ho oh, ho ho, that's coming up next. It's oh my, are you serious? Are you are you joking me? That torpedo didn't hit his target. Come on. I I was there. I was there when it hit, was supposed to hit its target. You two torpedo, that's all we need. Here we are, and stupid controller once again. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention if you press the X button while in the Millennium Park and it can. Do a backflip. Pretty awesome if I say this myself. Right, now we want to come down into here because there are some torpedoes we can collect as well as more studs, which is good if you're going for true Jedi because it's, stu it's double, a double score zone, so yeah. Problem is, 
I believe you can only get a maximum of two torpedoes down here. Or not. And plus we have to come back down here again because well it takes four torpedoes to get to where we're going once again so yeah. There we are. Go back down again. There we are. Woohoo! Okay, that's all we need. Thankfully, level. Thank God the levels in this game aren't that long. So, were it a bit even worse than it already is? Can't imagine how painful it would be trying to get through it. The game if the levels were. Like, really long. And not make the kids. Anyway, right now, this is the final thing we have to destroy. This big, massive rock. Which, in all honesty, isn't too hard. I mean, I don't think it's as um, cheap as the other things we had to defeat. I believe we only need, like, now nah, we still need four torpedoes. I thought we only needed five, I think, actually. I thought we only needed. Uh, Four, three, five, no, I think we need like five, six. Anyway. Sorry, but that's the only way I can get on my frustration from my controller. Which look on me again. Ah! Flipping air. Come on. There we are. Now we can move on. Finally. It's Boba Fett, the badass, the badass is here. We got the Millennium Falcon. Cool story, bro. Uh, cool story, bro, and cool story, bro, and cool story, bro. Continue story. <laughs> Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Chapter 4, Dagoba. Face palm. Han Solo and Princess Leia have finally evaded the Imperial fleet in the Millennium Falcon and are on their way to the to Cloud City, secretly followed by the bounty hunter Boba Fett. Meanwhile, following instructions were laid on him to especially to the spectral from Ob of former Obi Wan Kenobi, Luke Skywalker has piloted his X-wing to the forgotten planet of Dagobah, accompanied by his trusty droid R2D2. Luke heads towards the murky swamp world in search of his destiny. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the worst level in the game. And you're gonna see why pretty soon.
You're gonna get sick of hearing that music throughout the level. And I mean that. And you'll see why. Because it just gets so flipping repetitive. Uh, it's unbearable almost. Because it, it's, it's basically like the uh, battle theme in Sonic Unleashed, whenever enemies appear, that, that music plays and it's dead annoying. I. Uh, but yeah, so you were probably wondering why I hate this level so much. You're probably thinking, oh, this doesn't look so bad. You know, it's just like the scene from the movie where, um, you know, Luke goes to Big Day Gaberni searches for Yoda. Ho ho ho. Well, that's not the reason why I hate this level, guys. This level is so cheap because, well, <laughs> basically, you have, it's, uh, it, it's just so, it, it's indescribable. I don't know how to describe it. It's just so tedious Keep trying to get through this swamp. This My controller! Ugh. Sorry, 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 I apologize. I mean I'm in a really bad mood today, Jesus Christ, but still It's the fact that we're doing this level and the controller just disconnects whenever it feels like it, which is in all honesty Really weird. I, I don't know. I have no idea what, what, what to think. And I'd recommend using R2 for this. But yeah, so... I hate this level mostly because it's tedious and boring. And it's long, it's long as well. It is long compared to most levels in this game. And repetitive. Well, I can't really call it repetitive because it's not, it doesn't exactly go th make you do the same things, but it's just, just tedious to go through, that's all. I mean, I'm sure it's the same amount of, t length, th amount of time as the other levels in this game, but, you know, it, it, it drags on more than the others. Pwned by the badass Yoda. Right then, oh my god, I think this is the worst part of all, probably. Because, y y because, let's oh, switch to Luke. You have to just defeat all these birds and go through all this crap. And to use a force, to use a force, you need Yoda. I mean, I get that, you know. Oh! Sorry, I am really sorry. I am really, really sorry. I'm probably being a douche in this part of the game. But, oh, it's just my controller. Ugh, I'm really stressed right now. And the worst part about it is you need Yoda to use the force and you need to use the force to move on. So, if you get hit by an enemy, Yoda comes off you and you have to go and fetch him all, all, all over again. And it's just... Ah, it, it's horrible. It's horrendous. And on top of that, you've got the rep it, repetitive music, which doesn't help. And you've got all this rubbish. I hate this level, and you probably already know it by now. And I believe you need to... destroy all this crap. Oh my god, that... I just landed myself in some big, deep shit here, guys. Apologies for the atrocious language. You know what? You know what? I'm sorry. I am I am sorry. I am officially sorry because... You know why? Because I'm being a full-on douche in this episode. Because I'm stressed and... 
you know, I really didn't feel like recording, but I had to. And, in all honesty, I'd just rather be doing other things and relaxing and doing this. You know, I apologize. I really do apologize because I'm not usually like this. You know, usually I'm kind and lighthearted, but it's just the mood I'm in on this particular day that's got me to where I am, so yeah. This time, let's try not to open that. Now I believe we don't need R2 for this one. So yeah. Thankfully. That was easy. So that was easy. Ay ay ay. Right. Okay. Force this down. Force this down. Switch to R2. Try and ignore the birds. Luke will protect you, I think. Same with the other. Actually, I believe after this point you you get to play as Yoda, which is would be awesome if he was actually playable in this game. But you know, Yoda's okay to play as um, just not as cool as playing as any other Jedi, because he can't do what he did in Lego Star Wars One. Anyway, now Luke can force, which is awesome. So we don't need to do that cheap trick earlier. Where we needed Yoda to force. Yes. So yeah. I believe we need uh, R2 here. Uh, R2! See what I mean by this level being atrocious? Hate it. Absolutely hate it. Right. Switch to Luke here. I've already shown off Yoda in Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, I think. I think it was just an Attack of the Clones, so... You know what? I'm playing as Luke here. I don't care what any of you say. Oh, Yoda's badass! Yeah, he is in the film, but... Not in this game, in my opinion. You know, I just don't, like, really like... I'm not a fan of playing as him, so... I'm playing as Luke. Don't care what any of you say. And... Are you freaking joking? You know what? I'm, I'm not going to say anything at this point, because... You know what? This is going to happen all the time now, isn't it? There we are. Just had to reconnect the controller. If I know my control needed charging, I wouldn't have recorded now, but you know what, I decided this is probably the best time to record because my parents are out of the house and it's my day off of college. But no. Because all it's been so far is frustration. And tediousness, if that's even a word. So let's just go on. I don't even have anything to say anymore, you know, let's let's just go on. I'm tired of being a douche. I don't want to be a douche. I apologize for being a douche. So yeah. I believe Yeah, okay. That I believe you Luke and Yoda have taken an alternative route, but, hey. <laughs> right then, so, here we have Darth Vader. No, let, all you have to do here is just Jedi slam him. Then he gets up onto there, so. Get his power up. Boom! Then he gets over there. And yeah, power up's gone, so we're not going to be able to build this fast. Oh well. <sighs> okay. 
There we are. Done. Um. Now that. Excuse me. Really? Really, game? Sorry, really, controller? Really? Right. Thankfully, we're near the end of the level now. See what I mean by it was long? Yeah, it was long. And tedious and repetitive and repetitious and all that bull crap. Let's just go. Go. There we are. Three. And die Get up here. Right then. Get this to the ground. There we are. <laughs> so, I believe we need to switch to Yoda here, because Luke isn't strong enough to force this upon his own. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did show Yoda off in episode 3, I forgot. <laughs> anyway, here we are. It's going to, there we go. I was going to say it's going to take ages, but we're done. Oh, sorry about that. Um. Sorry, it's one of my cables. Pretty dodgy when I'm recording, but it's it's fine now. It's fine. <sighs> right, cool story, bro. Luke Skywalker pilot. Luke Skywalker Dagobah. Cool story, bro. Cool story, bro. Cool story, bro. I'm just gonna end things off here. It's been frustrating as usual. This is Crazy Game of Thirteen saying word out. Join me next time for episode 18 where we do where we finish the Empire Strikes Back.